Hi Capricorn. Okay, I'm here to do you guys September general reading. Thank you guys for all the love and support. And also thank you for being patient with me while I kind of was going through an ascension process. Okay, so let's get started Capricorn. Let's see what energy we're going to use the witch rooms and see what energy you'll be, get, be in in the beginning of September. It must not be the one. Ooh, look, every, a lot of people is getting this card. It's like the veil being lifted, seeing the truth of a particular situation. You could be just um, heavily focused on something, too, for the month of September. Hold on, Sorry, Capricorn. Hold on. This thing keeps falling out my ear. I hope that... Uh, Seem like you can't see. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can get through this with that light. I hope I don't create a glare. Look, pay, you have the moon card come out, the fortune uh, reading cards, and it says pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. So I feel like, yeah, you finna see what you need to put it into or it may just come to an end naturally so you can move forward and whatever is uncertainties you have your intuition is giving you that insight but I feel like during throughout the month like some things would be revealed to you that was kind of mysterious at first like maybe you didn't know which way to go or how a relationship was going to turn out whatever it is it's like you you figure it out let's see I already shuffled the card, so we can just three of swords. Four of pentacles. And the three of wands. Nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. I do feel like for most of y'all, this is a relationship that maybe um, you felt held back from and it was making it hard for you to kind of see a future or maybe you were holding on to some like a uh, pain, just some disappointment or the separation, like whatever happened throughout that separation, um, it was hard for you to kind of see how to move forward with it so say you guys are still in this connection this will be like finally you seeing how you guys can mend fences and move together and be successfully like what actions need to be taken to be successful with you guys relationship how you guys can come back together but with the nine of pentacles this can also be a business venture or just something you wanted to bring into fruition maybe you felt held back from your independence in the past and that kind of bothered you for a while especially if it's in relate relative to money like money was kind of tight with the four of pentacles maybe you had to do a lot to kind of <clears throat> get back on your feet or just like do some a lot to try to get your finances in order but finally it's like with this page of swords that information come in the information you've been looking for about how can i move forward how can i kind of be more optimistic about my future it seemed like all of that comes in and it, it creates like a breakthrough especially i feel like maybe there's kids involved here or just within a fam like your family you want them just to be overall happy sick and tired of the uh pain whatever this moon card means for you let's see <clears throat> oh too much sage hey my throat messed up okay we got on a quest yeah migration relocation dependable know where you going so you was unsure about how things was going to turn out wanting things to change it's like i want that new beginning that's stable something that i can just like rely on especially with dependable but everything was like uncertain with the moon now it's like it become clear and then look get more information i feel like that's what you have been doing or if you seem like our finances seem a little scarce for you uh Capricorn it's like look for other ways to kind of bring in finances with the four of pentacles it's like 
Look for ways to kind of grow and build, especially with the three of wands being here. This could be like creating passive incomes with the nine of pentacles, like making a different type of investments. If you can with the uh, four of pentacles and the nine of pentacles, then if you got the three of wands and the sun. So finally you come to a place where you see stuff clearly and you see your way forward. And then I feel like it makes you completely happy with the sun and the, uh, the eye there. Finally, you see that sign or just like that first sign of life coming back, that first sign of like, finally, I could, I could get back on my feet and be more independent. And this is like, and whatever this change is, is fate with the will of fortune here. Okay. Fate, karma, cycles, forces of the universe, destiny, synchronicity, which is that three of wands, that synchronistic energy, luck of the draw. So it's like, even though it took strength, things are finally turning in your favor. You finally get to move forward and not feel like, I feel like you felt just, I, what's, what would be a word <laughs> when you just feel like nothing is moving forward, stagnant? I had another word, but I want to use that. That's kind of a little too much. Okay. Let's see. Messages for Capricorn. Okay. We have be without malice. So if there was somebody who, who put you in this situation, this, that this car will say it's, uh, it's okay to be upset and angry. That's like normal emotions, even though we all make it seem like it's not, that's normal to have those emotions where you upset and angry, disappointed. That's a part of the healing process, but just make sure you're not being vengeful because then it affects you. Okay. And then it says, heed the message. And with the three of wands, that's exactly what the three of wands is looking for signs, seeing that first sign of life. So if you are getting messages, don't ignore them, especially through your intuition or anything. Cause it's telling you a way forward. And maybe you don't want to hear it with this heed the message card. But whatever it is, it's a way, a way to move forward. And it may come through like an intuitive message or you may be just sitting around because it's a little birdie on her shoulder. So you may be just sitting around and hear someone talking about something. Look into that because that may just be your way forward or maybe just letting go of whatever you did. Because if you look, she's turning her back towards that malice energy. So maybe by just leaving out the revengeful part, I help you move forward into to this next phase in your life. Even if this is a relationship, maybe you broke up or there was a separation with someone and you could thought guys thought with relocation here maybe you thought you guys were going to reconcile or there would be a way forward and it wasn't there maybe this is saying like this was all so you can gain your independence or feel good just on your own for a while you know I feel like with the dependable here that, that it, it was heartbreaking because you felt like this person was dependable. You felt like they was faithful and only to find out that they not, they wasn't. And that was disappointing for you. But holding on to it is making you like vengeful. Maybe what's holding you back to is with the, the uh, four of pentacles in this is trying to keep figuring out like the little details it's saying that I feel like it's making you angry by doing that you keep discovering more and more it could be like maybe it's time to let go and and just move on move forward if that's your message like that I don't think that's for everybody but for somebody yeah you do get to a point by the end of the month though where you 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 kind of just be like you know what I'm over this and and let it go so you can move forward Messages for Capricorn. Okay. You got a few. You got remember to practice self-love. It's time for healing, not war. That's this vengeful spirit. Like everything that has been done is already done. It's time for you to heal now and just practice self-love. Just get uh, put this situation behind you. I feel like it's holding you back though. So if you've been wondering why things hadn't been moving, then that's why don't seek anyone's approval. And no, you do not need to fix. Like if somebody keeps telling you, oh, you need to do this to fix yourself and all that, blah, blah, blah. That's not necessarily the case. Okay. They basing that off of society, what everybody else tell us we need to do. And this key is kind of like that's coming to an end, but how to put an end to this is just saying, I'm okay. I'm cool 
with where I'm at and who I am. You know what I'm saying? Because this is somebody who's comfortable with being alone. The Nine of Pentacles, comfortable with who they are. And I feel like this is your energy, but it could be other people affecting this for you. And I feel like it's creating this too. So maybe just kind of backing away from these people. And maybe you're wondering, should I just leave these people alone or not with this Two of Pentacles? And it's saying, look, maybe... It's time to seek the truth in these people, like see the truth about who they truly are. Are they just putting stuff on you or making you feel some type of way and don't even really have the right to do so, which mean they just, I don't know. I, it's just like a weird energy. They're saying love yourself. And if there is a relationship where, um, you guys have been, um, like something happened. And you guys had been fighting with the, it's time for healing, not war. This was saying, maybe it's time to put more energy into that relationship, fixing it, than like to keep the fight going. And that could be just by letting it go too sometime. Let's see how you'll be ending uh, September with these rooms. Look, you got a harvest. So basically, once you go through these heavy emotions for September, because I do feel like at some point, you're going to be working through some some heavier emotions. You come into a harvest, but whatever any any emotions you you have, like pay attention to what keep playing on in, in your head or like what scenarios keep playing because they're giving you messages and it's trying to help you see whatever it is that you don't see now. Like say you start thinking about a certain scenario that happened between you and a person and you start getting mad, then that's where the healing needs to come in. That's what you need to kind of take a look at because that's where the pain is. You get what I'm saying? By doing that, by the end of the month, you reap a harvest, like the, that, that nine of pentacles energy, whatever it is you've been working for, finally come in. And that's because you're able to let go of all the pain and stuff. And I know this is not no energy to just let go of. I'm not saying that, but it puts you in alignment to where you do start valuing yourself a lot more and be like, I don't know, I'm worth more than just this hurt and this pain that somebody else caused me. I, I deserve more than that. And so you push that away. Okay, Capricorn, that's the message I have for you. I hope it helps. Bye.